So, I've been playing Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 a lot recently, and I can't help but notice that there are a lot of problems in the game that I doubt anyone really cares about. But that doesn't stop me from pointing them out, so let's pop in the game and play some Naruto. So the story mode starts with the fight against Hashirama, the first Hokage, and Madara, the first douchebag of the franchise. Why can't I punch? I'm pressing square, and all I'm doing is throwing shurikens. I'm pressing every button, and I can't punch. X is to jump, and triangle is charge. No. It couldn't be. It could. Circle is punch! But why? I can't think of any reason a fighting game would use circle to punch instead of square! The first batch of cutscenes is nothing special, which is surprising considering this is one of the first cutscenes. Wood style hitting jutsu, deep forest emergence. Summoning jutsu. Instead, we have these still images with some pictures showing movement of the character's body. This game also has a variety of different game modes, but the one that caught my eye the most is online. So, let's check it out. Oh my god! That card could have killed him! I mean, what if the card was an explosive? Okay, so it's downloading data. So I guess we have to wait. Before you ask, my internet is fine. It actually takes a long time, you know. I give up. So, let's look at the characters. Okay, so we have our everyday Naruto characters, but are there any more? Because this list is kind of small. Oh, look at that. There they are. And there's more, and more, and what the heck? So there are five lists of characters, meaning there's over 40 characters in this game at least. That's most likely an exaggeration. Well, that was Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. What do I think of it? I think it's a good game, but it could be better. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go be a ninja now.